Hello everyone, this is David Giglio with Ozen Engineering and in this video I will show you how to use Antis MotorCAD to export a design script file to run in Antis Maxwell to automatically create the model in Maxwell with all the design settings and the model setup already complete. You won't have to do anything else except run the simulation and then analyze the results. So what we do is, for example, have a, a MotorCAD design open you can go to Tools, select Ansys Electronic Desktop. The default export format is Ansys Electronic Desktop and use the file extension .vbs, Visual Basic Script. And we have all these settings here to, to choose and to update if you want. And I, I have chosen, let's choose 3D and, and choose not to solve. Well, I want to run the script first in Maxwell, show you how long it takes to create the model, right? So literally like a minute, and then run the simulation after that. So then you have to choose here uh, a file. So let me see. So here, BPM, right? This is a brush the permanent magnet motor from MotorCAD to Maxwell, right? So here, click Save and Export. <clears throat> now, go to the Maxwell project. You don't need to have the project open yet. All you literally just need to do go click the automation tab, run the script, choose a script that you exported from AutoCAD into Maxwell, click open, and we count literally not even a minute. It's creating the geometry. You see the core created, the hair pin windings of the motor is being created at the, you know at this instant we see being generated automatically. And in the process, we see um, the excitation for the windings is being set up. All the geometry parameters are parameterized. So all objects have a name and which can be modified as desired after the model is created. And all the plots, uh, not all, but some plots typically that you would like to see for a motor or automatically set up let's see if it's done okay it looks to be done and the model is created using half symmetry this is because in let's go back to the motorcad so in the motorcad we click this calculation tab input data calculation we see that use symmetry was selected and if we go to the e magnetics tab and we click fe editor excuse me fea pass we see that the MotorCAD model is a half symmetry model because we see the outline, right? And this is um, spanning from 0 to 180 degrees. So 180 degrees, half model. That's why in MotorCAD, I mean, excuse me, in Maxwell, we have a half symmetry model. And now to run this, everything set up. We just literally, literally just click, right click, set up, select analyze. And about three and a half minutes or maybe four and a half minutes, the simulation will be completed. All the results will be available. This simulation is running for one cycle and the results will be in steady state. And as an example, so let, let's see for, for the geometry, right? So this is a copper um, winding. So we can see here the properties. So the parameters include the diameter of the gap, the yoke, the length of the, of the of the motor, screw angle, etc. This is winding dimensions, right? So if you're a MotorCAD, um, if you're a motor expert, you'll be familiar with these standard dimensions. And if you're not a motor expert, then Ansys Maxwell is a good is a good way to learn because everything here is is um, set up for you with descriptions of of different parameters, so you'll be able to you know, process this information, take your time, learn from it, and then develop your understanding of motor design and, and, and become an expert. So this tool works well for experts and those who want to become experts. So let's see the progress of the results. So we see that the induced, induced voltages plots are being um, generated right now. And this, um, this setup is using um, it's running for one cycle, 
and 30 time steps. So the one cycle is divided by 30, right? Everything, every single parameter, every variable is parameterized. Everything is, is, is written in terms of expressions. So the, the, the setup is, is in terms of expressions, right? The start, stop time, time stop, um, going back to the geometry, you have the all the copper windings all parameterized. We also have the core objects parameterized and the material um, assignments already set up, already defined. Okay, so once the model is, um, the script is running Maxwell, literally, as you saw, Left within a minute, the half symmetry 3D model is created, and less than five minutes, the simulation will be completed, and then you will see the final result. So, so the simulation is still running, and maybe like it's almost done running. So we can see the currents, drive currents, flux linkage plots, torque plots, etc. All right. Also, mesh operations um, for the cylindrical gap is automatically set up. We see the setup here for the motion. So if we click this, we see the, mo the, motion, the moving objects assignment. We see the motion setup. This is for type is rotation, um, data initial position, right? We can see what that value is next. And mechanical... Um, Angular velocity, right? Machine RPM. So, so with, let's see, machine RPM and initial position. So if we click the design, we can see, we can expand this, we can see the, the parameters. We see initial position right here, negative 15 degrees, and machine RPM is 3000 RPM. And we can see now where we are. Okay, almost done. So we can see the minimum values for, in this case, the voltage, the average voltage, and the maximum voltage, right? So still running, not, not done yet, almost done. So that is all for this video. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the Ozone Engineering YouTube channel to be um, informed of videos we will upload soon we you know we're constantly uploading videos constantly creating content you can visit our website at ozeninc.com and contact us to learn about our simulation capability and request a demonstration for us to show you how we can help you with your engineering projects we provide training to use ANSYS tools and offer consulting services thank you very much for watching this video take care and have a nice day